This is the JS self-leveling sax pad. See how it tilts to align itself with the tone hole. These pads are very flat on the surface. So you need a flat tone hole to get a good seal. Use a diamond tone hole file. You also want to check the cup alignment with the tone hole. A good way to do that is with a piece of flat 1 32nd inch thick sheet metal and check the fit. The self leveling pad uses a small ball joint. The ball joint is embedded in the back of the pad. It's mounted to the cup and it's what allows the pad to tilt. If the pad is bottomed in the cup and doesn't have enough tilt, then you'll have to add a spacer to the bottom of the cup. This one measures about one half inch square and 15 thousandths of an inch thick. You can cut the spacers from sheet metal or brass strips in various thicknesses available from hobby shops and supply houses. Or you can use a thin washer. With the spacer temporarily in place, check to see that there's enough tilt on the pad. When you're ready to glue in the spacer, add a drop of rubber toughened super glue to the center of the cup. Drop in the spacer, tilt in the pad, and hold it down while the glue dries. Check that the pad levels out against the tone hole. Then use a Q-tip and lift each quadrant to make sure that the pad has enough tilt in each direction. Also check front and back. If the pad's too tight in the cup, try rotating it to a new position. To remove a pad, you can warm up the cup and pry it out like you do with hot glue. The gold pads last two or three times as long as leather. They stay level with the tone hole, provide an excellent seal, a light touch, and great tone.